What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of The Electric Productions. I'm Jay and I am so excited to be bringing you Hand of Fate 2. I love the first Hand of Fate. It was such a fun game. It was unique when it came out. I mean, yes, it borrows from a lot of different game architecture, archetypes, um, but the way that they put that game together, it wasn't perfect. It had its flaws, but it was a blast to play and so addictive too. Well, Hand of Fate 2 has been a long time in the making and it's finally here and I am playing it for the first time ever. Never played it, never even booted it up before to see if it would work on my system. This is it, first time, let's jump in. So, endless mode, it looks like it's coming, and there's just new game. And I'm fine with new game. I don't see any options, but maybe using the start menu, we can access options for the game. I'm hoping there's at least some graphical tweaks. Okay, if possible, oh, here we go. So here's settings, let's just take a quick view of the settings. Looks like there's a lot of settings here, which is phenomenal. So I'm going to use my mouse here really quick and uh, V-Sync on, display, quality, I'm going to set it to ultra. There's a lot of settings here. Oh, it's always so nice to see in a game. Control options, no blood, subtitles, very cool. That's awesome. So let's resume the game here. I'm going to see if I can skip. Your memories are fading even now. Gone to form the soul of the game we play. I can't skip this. Sorry, These guys. These pieces are new, as are the stakes. Life, death, and vengeance. We must ride, for time is short, and you have much to learn. Make your first choice. And let us set these wheels in motion once more. Alright, so you get to choose your character here. I'm gonna go with a guy. These cards represent your history and our game. We know where they end, for you are here. Therefore, these cards must guide you to my side. Let us see what the journey holds. Okay, so we've got the fool. the fool steps into nothingness because they know no better. In the same way, you must step into the void. You are a blank slate, and together we will write your history. Awesome. You've stumbled many miles through this forest in search of the thieves who robbed you. Though exhausted and hungry, you're determined to reclaim your father's amulet. Finally catch sight of the thieves hacking at a large tree and arguing among themselves. Move closer to eavesdrop or keep your distance. Let's get closer. Every element of the game has been improved. Even those that seem at first glance familiar. Creeping forward, you over... Worry. You will soon understand the This guy's the so nuances. rude, he's talking over me. Creeping forward, you overhear their leader spouting orders. It's simple, he says. The idiots walk down the road, you push over the tree and jump out. They'll be too scared to put up a fight, and we'll get rich. Why don't we jump out and stab them? One retorts. Another hooded figure chimes in. Yeah, corpses don't put up a fight, either. Frustration rises in the leader's voice. The Empire doesn't care if a few farmers lose some sprouts, but a, drow a drop a... <laughs> But drop a corpse on the royal road and the place will be filled with soldiers before you even spent the coin. We don't need that trouble. Now quiet, here they come. Sorry for my terrible voices. <laughs> you soon spot a group of farmers coming around the corner bringing their wares to market. Uh oh. The thieves fell the tree into the path of the unsuspecting farmers and leap out. Weapons brandish. Give us all your food. Leap to the farmer's defense, offer to help the farmers, warning them it won't come free. Help the thieves with their extortion. Now. I'm gonna go vanilla here, we're gonna help him. You draw your weapon with practice skill. Well, you hear the leader's voice. You lads handle this, I'll meet you when you're done. I can't do voices. I keep changing up the accent like on the fly. <laughs> Sorry guys. Okay, so here we go. Are we going to battle? I'm ready. My blade is ready. So very familiar to the first game. Very familiar setup. Violence for the sake of violence, and theft for the sake of money. Thieves attack frequently and can evade standard attacks, making heavy weapons less effective. So I'm with the farmers. Very cool. Alright, so weapon ability, finisher, attack, defend, bash, and evade. Got it. Let's do this thing. Oh, 
Oh, nice. So Y is defend. Okay, but if I'm moving when I try to defend, the defense becomes totally inadequate. Oh, couldn't get my defense up quick enough. There we go. Oh, oh, there's another thief. I was trying to use my finisher there. Okay, so that's the bash. So the bash almost gets in the way of their attack and, and parries it. Very cool. Very nice. So the combat is not quite as quick as the first game. Uh, the farmers fumble in their haverstacks and gratitude. Thank you, adventurer. I'm sure that after they took uh, our food, they would have taken our lives as well. So we got some food. We got some more food. You fall on the food with a sigh, shoveling bread in your mouth to quell your hunger. So you wanted money, but you got food. Your satisfaction only lasts for a moment before you realize your father's amulet is not among the takings. You consume one food. All right, so we're going after the leader still. Friend in need? While uh, enjoying a moment beside the fire, you spy a strange figure approaching the camp. It's a goblin, dressed in what must pass for goblin finery. From beneath a filthy uh, fox pelt serving as an ill-fitting wig, the goblin winks at you with wild red eyes. Aha! You've been roaming for hours trying to find you. Oh, I've been. We must get this over with quickly if I have any hopes of getting to all the people on my list before sunrise. It lowers a sack from its shoulder. Now from within my sack, I can conjure whatever your heart desires. The goblin's voice trails off as he examines his sack. Well, I could, if there wasn't a blooming great big hole in it. His head disappears entirely into the bag, and his bulbous nose protrudes from the breach. A new plan, then. The goblin pulls out his last trinkets. Soldier's sword, a warrior's axe or shield. Warrior's axe. Requires six hits, performs powerful strike. Bash, heavy. Okay, let's take a look at the sword. Requires 10 hits. 250% uh, damage on a single target. I think I'm going to go with the axe here. And I would like to equip it. Yes, please. Wise choice. Now I must go. There are many others I must visit before I can rest. The goblin runs off into the night, his foxwood flapping in the evening breeze. You can change equipment in the inventory. Let's move on. This Your card has a token. Can you find it? Okay. Your journey through a forest is interrupted by an inquisitive child. Are you searching for the forest folk? My uncle says they used to walk these woods giving out gifts. I want to find one and ask for lemon cake. As they dash off to peer under a nearby log, the child shouts back, Remember, if you meet the forest folk, get me a lemon cake. In the other direction, an eerie song hangs in the air. You attempt to find its origin. Okay, here we go. We got this. Yes, success! You follow the song through the thicket and stream until you find an open glade bathed in golden sunlight. You find an aged maiden, her posture bent like the boughs of a forest. It has been twelve winters since I had a visitor. Her voice is a whisper, yet it thunders in your ear. You may visit me when you are in need, adventurer. This is yours now. Even if you lose the challenge, you have earned this token. Nice. Nothing could be more fitting now than meeting the mage who started this all. Or at least started it all for you. Okay, so a trail of fallen trees and distraught farmers leads you to the thieves who have stolen your amulet. It seems that they're in, uh, they're infighting. Only has gotten worse. The bandits surrender their former leader. Weapons drawn. Oh, surround their former leader, sorry. Everyone will get their fair share. There's no need for violence, the leader implores. Whoever heard of a thief talk about fair share, spits one. You turn up and boss us around. We've barely stabbed anyone. It's been days since I've stabbed someone. Days! The leader notices you approaching and waves you over. As much as I'd love to continue this discussion regarding stabbings, I'm afraid I have urgent business with my associate here. As he greets you, he whispers, Keep me alive and there'll be plenty of gold for your troubles. Tell him gold cannot replace the amulet he stole. Tell him you will pay in blood for his thievery. Okay, we're interested in the amulet, so let's go that route. He holds up a finger. First rule of negotiation, never let them know what you want. Kill my associates and I will gladly return your amulet. Ever reliable, the thief draws their blades to mug you. The leader hurries away to hide. We're gonna fight. We're not giving them anything. Alright, here we go. Back into the fray. Oh, 
Okay, I'm just sitting here trying to use my shield, and that's because I don't I don't have it anymore. I've got a two-handed weapon. Do I have bash anymore? No. I don't even have bash. It the shield is what utilizes the bash. Nice. So the combat is, um, it's less Assassin's Creed, and, and it's more weighty, and a little bit more tacti tactical than it was in the first game. Which is not a complaint, it just, it's it's not as easy mode as the first game was, in my opinion. I found the first game to be fairly easy, uh, but uh, yeah, this is better. With a battle resolve, the thief leader nods in approval at the carnage before him. He holds out a hand. My name is, I can't pronounce that, Bard Extraordinaire. His smile fades under your withering glare. Sensing your anger, he raises his hands in surrender. Wait, let's not be hasty. We're on the same side here. I'm an upstanding citizen, just like you. I've been working with the thieves, yes, but only for the greater good. No, really, they were killing people before I came along. I know it seems bad, but look. He pulls out an amulet from his pocket and presses it into your hands. All is forgiven, yes? You stare at the amulet, and does it does look it does not look familiar. Uh, oh, he says, scratching his head. He opens a small satchel. So which one is yours? Uh, choose your father's. So this is going to be kind of what determines. Oh, it doesn't it doesn't specify. I like the lion though. I'm going for the lion. The lion amulet. That suits you. Very similar facial structure. Say, you know what? I'm lonely. You're lonely. We should work together. And I've befriended this, the bard, the trickster. You should probably get to know one another, seeing as you're going to be friends for life, he says. Tell me, where are you from? Okay, so we're still just setting up our character here. This is like, still basically the tutorial section. Very cool. I love the camp. Choose an appearance. Okay. Choose my hair color here. Very cool. Let's go through this pretty quickly. Kind of like that. And I've already I've already chosen the lion, so we're gonna stick with that for right now. Kind of like the Robin Hood look there. And that finishes it off. From the Eastern Belt, eh? You don't say. Good sort from the Eastern Belt. Very trusting. Oh, by the way, I mean my... F <laughs> oh, by the way, I mean we, friend. Owe money to Vignus, the Thieves' Guild. He's quite angry at us. We should journey to... Uh, Meyer Bridge together to appease him. Some gold might help. Although, come to think of it, I'm rather busy. <laughs> uh, Maliclipsy <laughs> eyes a pretty traitor hiking up the road. So, it'd be best if you get the gold and I meet you there. Some friend this guy is. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. Let us learn what sort you are. Strong. Clever. Wise. The circumstances under which you come here put the lie to that. Okay. So go ahead and did a throw there. Choose which dice to re-roll. Um I guess I'll re-roll the uh the skull. Okay, so six. The dice are fair, and thus you have lost this round. Oh, man. You're shocked by rolling strength. You learn not to underestimate acrobats or halflings. Thought I had some good fortune, so that's okay. You take the lesser reward for losing in the competition of strength. When you return, a new contest will begin. The roads have become even more dead. Road ahead is blocked by an overturned carriage and a woman calling for help. Despite Please help, she cries. I've been robbed by a band of thugs. Is there anything you can do? Oh boy, I gotta roll 12. All right, I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm a glutton for punishment here. These dice are another small game embedded in our game. Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. 
I'm not gonna reach 12, that's for sure. I can't count. I thought that was a... You are learning. Okay, so apparently the skull axe is one? Interesting. Thank you, the woman says, as you help her from the carriage. Please accept this token of my gratitude. More food. Very good. And five gold. Celebrations in aid Oops. of war. Hold on, can I go back? I you can't. See how I got click happy. Of the usurper are turned into tales for children. Sure, we'll join in. Oh. Okay. The club strikes the chest of the treat-laden beast. Some gold falls out. You survey the spoils and try to scoop them up before anyone else can. Uh oh. <laughs> I can't tell. Nope, failure. Before you can gather anything, a young child shovels the bounty into a basket and scampers off. With your turn over, you leave. Aw. Alright, left or right, guys? Left. Water is a symbol for when the crossing a stone bridge, you suddenly find yourself confronted by a surface. villainous band. What is it you're thinking of? We're gonna fight. What concern is worrying at your mind? Let it fall into the waters beneath. We got this. All right. So dodge is key. I don't have a shield, so I can't uh, block. And it doesn't seem that I can really parry without the shield. Empire enemies wear armor that reduces damage by three, rendering light weapons less effective. Okay. No! Okay, so I'll tell you what, that Y button is 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 key. So unfortunately the Y button seems to be the easy button here, um, as it as it almost does that Assassin's Creed immediate, you know, parry move. Um, which at first I hadn't discovered while I was doing the combat, but yeah, it's still it's still present. Okay, so we're searching their bodies. We got an armor point. Damage is 15, defense is 10. I'm more of an offensive player, typically. Alright, we got 15 life. So it looks like I can go back for another arm wrestling. Can I? No, I cannot. Okay, so here we go. Here we come to the end of the beginning, running errands for mages. This will become a theme, I dare say. Mail Mayclibs? I I'm sorry that I cannot pronounce his name. Uh, pursuing a selection of cheese by the market. Ah, isn't it good friend the adventurer? Did you bring the gold? Vignus has arrived to meet you at the graveyard. Go exploring. Let's go exploring. Oh, okay, I understand now. Um, so I'm going to go into my inventory really quick here and make sure I've got... Um, so that's that's all I've got. Neglected sword, thirteen twenty-one. I'm going to go for the axe, and which automatically turns off the shield. Okay, so all done exploring. We're going to the graveyard. We're going to do it. Vignus greets Maliclips with a sly grin. Looks like you're turned up after all. Looks like you turned up after all. And with a lackey in tow, we had your we had our doubts, you know. Vignus cracks his knuckles and giggles. Well now, <laughs> Molly Clips, convince me. What's to stop me from cutting off your head today? You reveal your gold as Molly Clips scrounges in his pockets for some too. A heavy satchel of richest lands at Vignus's feet with a thud that echoes through the silence of a cemetery. You lose 20 gold. That's our deal done, Maliclip says, worry, uh, worry obvious in his voice. You know, uh, no need for any further troubles. I'm sorry, Mal, Vignus grins. You should have known the guild would never was never going to let you pay with cash stolen from our members in the first place. Uh-oh. That's okay. We got this. No worries. I wonder if there's any different uh, companion you can have other than Mal. 
because uh, <laughs> it kind of sucks. Okay, here we go. Vignus the Crazed. Treacherous and greedy, a dangerous combination. Anarchists throw flaming bombs that cause fire damage. Your armor is no use to you here. So let's get close. So I was not able to... Uh, let's just get out of the way. Ooh. Nice move there, sir. Oh, suck. I tried to jump out of the way to no avail. There we go. Let's get behind him. it. I got eight health left. Getting close. There it is. Ha <laughs> ha. Close shave. Achievement unlocked. All right. Very nice. Mal scratches his chin thoughtfully. It seems you could uh, do with someone savvy to help you navigate these tricky matters of diplomacy. Like maybe killing everyone wasn't the best idea. Come, let us discuss our partnership over an ale or two. Okay. And to the victors. Well done. Goes the spoils. You cleared the first challenge. And now we can move on to the next. Um, let's see what we got. We got the Cardinal Blade and Bastion of Purification. Market Thief, Tarot's Pies, Exotic Lies, Fork in the Road, and we got Arm Wrestling. Very nice. For befriending Mal, we got Mal's Problems and the Trickster. And what is this? For finding the Forest Folk, we got the Old Maiden. But we didn't get that lemon pie or whatever that kid wanted. Welcome to my challenges. Together, we will traverse 22 paths of wisdom and despair in wow. the hope of awakening. The Magician. Select a challenge. Okay, guys. So, I mean, let's... I'm going to put a pause on it right here. Um, this is very similar to the first game. The level of polish is much higher here. Um, I don't know if you guys have been paying attention, but the music in the background is even better than the first game. It's more orchestric if that's a word <laughs> um, it's I, I love the music the combat does feel more weighty it still has that easy button where you can parry attacks so timing is a is a major component here to the combat however that boss battle was actually more challenging some of than some of the earlier boss battles from the first hand of fate uh, so that's great you know you have to be more more in tune with what's happening on the battlefield already, so that's good. I felt the game was the first game seemed a little too easy, so I like that it seems like this is a tad more challenging. Uh, it's got the same charm as the first game, that sort of uh, somebody is playing as the dungeon master for you and just reading it out uh, with fate here, it being in control of our of our destiny. I really, really liked the first game a lot. It was an awesome game, and I am so excited to have very similar slash confused? more of the same Complete as the first game present. Um, you if you guys want to see me play... Man, this guy just talks whenever he feels like it. <laughs> if you guys want to see me play more of this, I would love to. So my recommendation right now, guys, is if you liked the first game, by all means, run out and get the second one. It is like the first one, just more finely tuned, and it just has a much more punchy, weighty feel to it. And I already feel more drawn into this one than the first one. And the first one drew me in quite a bit. So that's a great thing that this one draws me in even more. Um, it's always a blast to play through the different scenarios, unlock new content that gets included in your later adventures. Let's see, as far as companions, it looks like there is a few different companions in the game, which I'm thrilled because I'm not a huge fan of Mal, but that's okay, though. That's okay. Um, let me see. Mages are my children. So it looks like there's this one, four. However, I would rather disown. Okay, so and you get to choose. I liked the arm wrestling. I thought that was a lot of fun. Deep water, I liked that. Try something new. Tarts, pies, and exotic lies. Um... 
Now these ones here, there's still uh, items for me to unlock. So I'm going to go with Market Thief. In fact, let's take out the arm wrestling. And there we go. Oh, can I add more? Full. Okay, so you can do five. And then equipment. Is this a light weapon, though? Let me see. Let me inspect it. Unknown. Okay, fair enough. But we're definitely going to go with that. Bastion of Purification. I like the Warrior's Axe shield. We can do all of them. That is so cool. I, this game just... This is one of those games where you sit down to play it for like, you know, 10-15 minutes. Heroism. A few hours later, you're How like still playing. Start thus? This game is just, ah, oh, it is such a charming years, game. I have thought about nothing but the game. I was defeated. It is true. I became complacent long before that. <laughs> Alright, I gotta stop here, guys, or else I'm just gonna keep playing game. indefinitely. If you guys wanna see me play more of this, now, if you, you would like me to do uh, more gameplay, or do a more in-depth review of the game, where I play for a few hours you. and then do sort of a written review in conjunction with gameplay, just let me know in the comments section below. I'd be happy to do that if there's an interest for it. Um, right now, I've gotta give this two thumbs up. It's just, it's bringing back so many fond memories. You know, this game, the first game's not that old. It's a few years old, um, but, uh, you know, it, I still feel some heavy nostalgia from the first game just oozing into this one. And, uh, yeah, it's just, it's awesome. If you liked the first one, I'll say it again. Grab the second one. It's it's not disappointing so far. And uh, if you've never played the first one, then I'd say see if you can grab the first one on a sale. I mean, I'm sure it's probably pretty cheap right now if you look around for it. Uh, and if you don't want to wait and you want a more uh, finely polished, finely tuned version of the first one, you want to jump in on the second one, I don't think you're going to be disappointed whatsoever. So that's going to do it for this episode, guys, of Electro Productions. It was a blast having you guys here. Thanks for stopping by. I look forward to seeing you all on the next episode. And until then, game on, my friends. Bye-bye.